you know, the idea of food as medicine, I'll begin with the number one thing I've learned to appreciate is sugar as a poison. Yeah. Yeah. It really is, you know, well, the dose makes the poison, right? So having a little bit of sugar is not going to kill you, but it's the fact that we eat the equivalent of about a pound a day per person of sugar and flour and below the neck sugar and flour in your body are the same. In fact, the glycemic index of bread is 100. That's the gold standard. Sugar is 65, which wow. is better than bread. That's because it has fructose, which lowers the, doesn't spike glucose. But that it, basically bread and sugar are the same. And we eat about 152 pounds of sugar and 133 pounds of flour on average per person. That's average. Now, I'm not having that much. So some people are having a lot more. And that's driving <laughs> the fact that we have you know 93% of Americans that are metabolically unhealthy which means they have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, or they're overweight, or they have had a heart attack or a stroke. That's like 6% of us basically, or 6.8% of us are in good metabolic health. That's terrifying to me. And that's driven by our diet primarily. So, uh, you know, someone once said that sugar is more addicting than cocaine. Yeah. Um, and you know, whether that's ever been scientifically proven or whatever, it's in addicting. Rats. In rats. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's addicting. I just, you know, every year, uh, with my abundance community, I do a 22 day sugar fast, mm. right? And the entire community goes on in a WhatsApp group and we drop all sugar and high glycemic index foods, no yeah. pasta, no rice, yeah. no bread yeah. and so forth. And it's difficult in the beginning, right? But when you're doing it with others, it's, it's achievable. And towards the end, um, you're off the addiction. People stop wanting it. Yeah. 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 I mean, so let's just walk through it. So when you eat sugar, what happens? Or when I say sugar, I mean any kind of starch that, that will raise your blood sugar. You produce insulin. And insulin is a special kind of hormone that's produced by your pancreas that is designed to put blood sugar into your cells. But, but when you have high levels of sugar, you have to make more insulin. And insulin not only drives the fat into the fat cells to store, but it also shuts off the release valve so you can't actually burn the fat. So it shuts down lipolysis, which is the burning of fat. It slows your metabolism down and it increases your hunger hormones. So you're hungrier, you're gaining weight, you can't burn the fat and your metabolism is slower. So it totally screws you up. And then it produces these special kinds of fat cells in your belly called adipocytokines adipocytes, which are producing adipocytokines, which are inflammatory compounds. So you basically have a fire in your belly spewing out all this inflammation throughout your body. It lowers your hormones. So males, their testosterone drops way down. Their sex drive and function goes down. Women get all kinds of other hormonal dysregulation. It affects your brain. You get um, increased cortisol and adrenaline with sugar and cortisol causes literally shrinkage of your hippocampus, which is the memory center. So it's just, it's just bad news. It's bad stuff. And then, and then it does this thing, which, which we, we, we were just hinting at, which it, it kind of, the, too much sugar goes around and, and forms globs with proteins called glycation products. And when you measure hemoglobin AMC, which is what we do to measure how your blood sugar is controlled if you're diabetic, you get high levels of these glycated hemoglobins, but it happens to all these proteins and it happens in your brain. They're called ages. Literally the name of it yes. is called ages, ages advanced yes, right. glycation end products. And they bind to receptors called rages. <laughs> so you're aging and raging <laughs> when you eat sugar. <laughs> uh, and, and really just driving heart disease and, uh, and yeah. neurogenerative disease. It's just, it's just bad stuff. The human body I mean, called type uh, dementia now type three diabetes. Yeah. Most cardiovascular heart disease is driven by metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, the lipid panels that are the worst are the ones that are really driven by too much sugar and starch, not fat. And, uh, of course, diabetes, you know, I, I think and cancer people just realize, yeah, it's, it's the fuel for cancer, uh, that, we never had sugar as we were evolving 100,000 years ago. Right? This is a recent development, as is all the food companies that are pushing on us. Yeah. Uh, so if, if I could say, if you, if you remember nothing else from this podcast, minimize sugar and maximize exercise, which everybody knows already. It's not like, you know, like, breakthrough yeah, science, right. but it's, it's like yeah, it's reminder, so try right. it. Yeah, you can take all these supplements, do all these hacks, take all the stem cells you want, but if, you're, if you don't have the basics right, you know, 